friends, welcome back to the channel. If it is your first time visiting, I hope that you will subscribe. I think we're trying to do good things on this channel, you know, eventually, you know, to give cars away. Uh, still, you know, a long road ahead of us. Uh, we need to complete the 4,000 hours of watch content. We're about eh, a fourth of the way into it, a little bit more than a fourth of the way into it. In any event, the next modification on the AMG is gonna be a small one. I'm still waiting on the uh, spoiler. I returned the previous one uh, because it didn't fit. So I got my refund and I ordered a new one from a different company. So hopefully that one should be arriving sometime next week. And in addition to that, I'm still not doing or haven't done the winglets on the front splitter. Uh, hopefully again sometime next week I'll do that project and finish the splitter. And hopefully also next week I'll be doing the install. We'll see. You know, cross my fingers. Uh, but today is gonna be a simple one. I talked about blacking out the uh, front grill. I mean, most of it is black, but it has the emblem and then the, uh, I don't know what you call them, the things that are go on the side of the emblem. So I'm gonna plastic dip those on uh, with matte black and just let me show you how it looks right now. So you know, this is basically how it looks now. And I'm gonna be blacking out basically anything that is chrome or like dull chrome. I don't know what to call this color, but I'm gonna be blacking out that, including the emblem. One good thing about plastic dip, you know, I'll be applying about six to seven coats. So if I end up not liking it, just an easy feel. And I'll be protecting, I'll be protecting everything around uh, the grill for the potential of overspray. So having had experience with plastic dip before, I'm gonna be using this to basically clean and prepare the surface that is gonna be dipped. And this helps with the adhesion of the uh, plastic dip on the surfaces, basically that are gonna be a spray. And this is sold by Dip Your Car. These are the, the guys that basically sold me all the uh, chemicals for the maintenance of the plastic dip. Um, so yeah, I did this. So I applied it on all the surfaces that are gonna be uh, dipped and cleaned them very well. And now we're gonna prep the area, you know, cover the area with paper and tape. So by the way, the application of the tape is more to protect the intake to the radiator than the surface itself. Um, in addition to the tape, I'm gonna put a couple of plastic, well, more than a couple of plastic bags inside. Again, in case any of the overspray or spray goes inside, so it'll be caught by the uh, by the plastic bags. So as you can see, you know I I place you know this side already with the um, with the tape. I covered it, and I'm gonna proceed with the uh, finishing the other side. Okay, so I added a few plastic bags between the grill and the radiator just to protect for any potential overspray. Make sure that the car is not hot, <laughs> obviously, because it's gonna melt everything. And uh, yeah, and now I'm gonna cover the other surfaces with tape and paper. So this is how it looks like right now. And obviously, I'm gonna protect the camera. Okay, so essentially, I have covered all the surfaces that I don't want you know, overspray or, or anything like that, such as a wrap, um, and obviously expose all the areas that I want, you know, plastic dip. Obviously, I also cover the, um, the camera, okay? So I'm gonna apply another, uh, I'm gonna wipe it again using, you know, a little bit of this uh, to, again, prepare the area, and uh, I will then start spray dipping. Okay, so now for the plastic dip application, make sure you shake the can for a, a good two to three minutes just to get everything flowing in there. And I'll tell you in terms of application, you know, what I learned is a very slight coat to begin with. It's like a gripping coat, if you want to call it. And then let it dry for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I spray the second coat, again, very lightly. And basically you're gonna wait anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes between coats. Now, 
It's important that in the last coat, once you apply the last coat, what is still wet, you start removing all the protection because if you let it dry, um, you know, you run the risk of basically as you remove the protection of removing some of the plastic. First, first light application and then smooth strokes if you wish. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes and then I will apply the second coat. Finish this area first. Okay, so 20 minutes later, now the second coat. And as I said, that's gonna continue uh, until I complete six to seven coats. And actually one can should be sufficient for this uh, small area. And this is how it looks after the first complete coat. And as I said, about five to six more. Okay, so this is the last coat and then the removal of all the protection around the area. Okay, take care of that. And now, removing the, uh, the paper and the tape. Okay, friends, so what do you think? I left this um, without being dipped, plastic dipped, the uh, AMG emblem, but um, I think it turned out okay. I like it. And again, you know, something that I can remove anytime that I want to, because it's very easy to remove. Um, I had to re spray it a little bit here um, because it was an area that was not totally covered. But other than that, I think it adds to the mean look of the uh, AMG. In terms of modifications, if you think that this is a modification, it's probably one of the easiest ones. Uh, it took me, what, uh, about an hour, uh, let's say a couple of hours, you know, with a prep area or prepping the area, uh, cleaning the area, prepping the area, and then doing the uh, six coats every 20 minutes. And with the last coat, as I said, removing all the uh, the protection around the grill uh, but other than that uh, you know that's fairly fairly simple um, and I think it looks very mean too so you know let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, thumbs up if you like it I think as I said looks nice and for my first time doing uh, you know spray dipping or plastic dipping turn out fairly decent okay so until next time peace